daughter started in 1981. Mm -hmm. And I often told, um, tell people I started with $40 on a bicycle in the backyard in 1981. Yes? Started in the, <clears throat> the car parts business and then we moved uh, into the auto repair business and fleet management business and of course people sales. So, um, you know, I also have my distinct politics and um, I'm now reconnecting with my business and rebuilding it after, after probably, probably 15 years in, in active representation politics. Still involved, but I'm focusing on, on making some money now, you know. The Cadillac was a car that was donated to the Jamaican government in the in the 70s, the Michael Manley government, in, I believe 1978. Now when the car was when the car was donated, um, it was at the time when Fidel Castro was to visit Jamaica. And you know, during the Cold War and there was at the heightened tension in Jamaica with the with the work of the CIA and you know there's always attempts on Castro's life. Mm -hmm. So security was a major issue or a major concern. And the Panamanian government donated the Cadillac, 1975 Cadillac Fleetwood presidential limousine, which was fully armored and uh, to the to the Michael Manley government at the time. And of course um, I believe the only person who rode in that car officially in Jamaica was Fidel Castro when he came here in 1978. It's a well armored car, but it's, it's only not to armor car, it costs it probably 100,000 US dollars um, in those days. <clears throat> so it's a very expensive um, uh, undertaking. But also, it is a part of our history and um, interesting period in our history in Jamaica. 70s when you have the, the East and the West and the, 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 the clashes that took place and the security threats at the time that Fidel Castro and, and uh, coming to Jamaica we want to ensure that he is properly secure. You know? It had an inner um, attachment that if you were to shoot the tires then the car would run still at maybe 60, 70 miles an hour if we shoot it. If, if, if the car was shot from above, it had steel casing over the engine to make sure that the engine is not damaged. It had steel casing in front of the radiator to grill the steel, um, steel case. The car itself, um, the, the back seat, fully armored, the, 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 the door glasses and the windshield was probably about an inch thick. So um, it's a really serious the armored car, you know. In the back you had a gun rack in the in the back seat. So if you have a president driving there, security there with gun racks inside the back seat to make sure two persons are there with with the gun with their with, with their machine gun. There was a there was a feeling that the, the, the head of the the socialist movement can be driving in a, in a, in a limousine, mm -hmm. a presidential mm -hmm. limousine. And of course, this Cadillac is the largest, um, it's the largest uh, factory built limousine. Others are extended, you know, you can get the stretch, stretch limousine. But this was the largest limousine built by the Cadillac factory at the time. When the Jamaica Labour Party government one in the 70s. I wrote to the then Prime Minister, Most Honorable Edward Siaga, and asked him to, to sell me the car as a collector. And of course, he was very gracious to approve the sale of that car to me as a person who wants to collect a piece of Jamaica's history. The car was restored and as fallen back in disrepair because of neglect. Um, we are now planning to take it on as a new project to restore it again. I would think 
to bring back a car like that mm -hmm. now, it will be about a million Jamaican dollars to bring it back to show condition. And this is just, this will be me doing it myself, to do it properly. Uh, unfortunately, we still can get a lot of the parts for it, so um, I think it will cost something about, about that. Persons used to use it as to rent it to them for many special occasions. You know, I don't rent it out as a wedding car, but mm -hmm. I used to help people. And interestingly enough, when you know another thing that car was involved with um, when Shabarans was in his heyday, I remember he arrived at the stadium in 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 in, in fine style. Uh, driven in by the limousine. You never had no limousines in Jamaica at that time. You know, that probably was the only limousine of that time. At the sting, at the, at the stadium, yes, and um, a well decked out chauffeur. <clears throat> My de well decked out chauffeur at the time would have, would have driven chaperones uh, as, you know, as a special arrival at the stadium, escorted by two old riders. You know. My brother, who's here now, who uh, was Tim, not the date of the operation, it was as in actual fact, I started doing some research on the spare parts and looking at joining some clubs abroad um, to see how we can um, get all of the different parts that we're going to need. We have started sourcing the right kind of work on it, um, to take on that job. It's very difficult in Jamaica because we're not, we're not as we are not as experienced as persons in the first world countries in car restoration. So I would say by the end of the year we should get started um, and, 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 uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a project.